To buy nearly anything without cash these days, you need to have credit. And if your credit score isn't where you need it to be, listen up. Courtney Weitengruber from Forward Bank is here this morning to talk about how you can change that. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's start very simply. When we say good credit, what does it mean to have good credit? So typically people think of immediately their score, which score the higher the better. Generally, as a lender looking at a score, 700s range is good, 800s range is excellent. Important thing is to have a balance of both revolving and installment loans on your credit report. An example of revolving is gonna be like a credit card where you pay it down and use it and it has no end date. And an installment loan would be like an auto loan where you have a set beginning and end with payments in between. Mm -hmm. And the other important thing is to make sure that you're making your payments on time to develop that good history on there. That's really important. So what are the benefits of having good credit? The benefits of having good credit, one is that you're gonna qualify for future loans. Another is that you lessen the chance that you're gonna to have to have a co-signer or someone else helping you on that loan. And another one is that you're gonna qualify for better interest rates on future loans and you get better perks with credit cards. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about some of those unfortunate cases of bad credit, maybe a medical bill or a divorce. How can people recover from those kinds of things? So the most important thing is to keep making payments on time. If you find yourself in a situation where you're struggling, you want to try and prevent things from going to collections because that's really going to hurt your score. If you have a problem making payments, just stay in communication with the place the bill is from or with your lender and try and set up a payment plan if possible. Mm -hmm. And what could you do if you have a uh, good credit but co-sign for someone who didn't and that made your credit take a hit? So the most important thing there is before it gets to that point, when you're considering co-signing for someone, really understand what that means. When you co-sign on a loan, you're accepting equal responsibility for it. So those payments or missed payments are going to affect your credit score. So make sure you really trust the person that you're co-signing for and that you're able to make those payments if they aren't and always monitor any accounts that you have co-signed on. And what are some things that people do because they think it will improve their credit score, but maybe, maybe it doesn't so much? So there's lots of myths when it comes to credit scores. The most important um, is that you talk to your lender if you have any questions on it, because when in doubt, we have that information. But the two main ones I see is someone will say, well, I pay cash for everything, so my credit should be great because I never use it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it, while it's great to be able to pay cash for everything, there's no record of that and no record of that payment history, so there's no score associated with it. And the other one is someone will say, well, I have credit cards, but I paid them off a long time ago and I haven't touched them since, so it should be perfect. Unfortunately, when you don't use the credit you have available, it starts to go down on your credit score just because there's not any history to score on. Mm -hmm. All right, well, lots of information there to take in. Courtney, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And for more information, you can head to our website at WSAW.com.